Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now we have a very exciting video for you guys today. It is the part two of the new poll. Now, if you remember a few years ago, I made a poll for after season three air, just asking the public some general questions that I had about Miraculous Ladybug. It was a huge success. So I decided, well, since season four is over, let's go ahead and do that again. So I sent out a poll about a month ago and I got around 5,000 responses. The previous poll had around 2,000 responses as of recording this video. So you still can go ahead and take the poll if you are watching this and didn't take it, you know, as you know, the polling session I suppose was going on. So if you want, you can still take the poll and it will still be counted and who knows, maybe I'll go through again to see if something's changed since this will probably reach a broader audience. So I'm gonna be going through the poll results today to see how the fandom is standing on a few different like issues, not really issues, just opinions and thoughts about the show and how that compared to two years ago after season three ended. So yeah, let's go and hop right into this video. Okay, so I have pulled both of the polls up so we can compare them in real time. The one on the left here is the new one after season four with 5,000, almost 6,000 responses now. And then the one on the right is the one from two years ago after season three aired, which has over 22, basically 23,000 responses. So make sure if you haven't responded to this one yet, go do that. It, does, it doesn't take a whole lot of time and it's pretty cool data to see if things shift because I know some things shifted um, after I released the responses video. Um, so yeah, definitely go take this. It's down in the description below. So starting off here, we have which season of Miraculous was the best and overwhelmingly season four with 68% dwarfing all of the other ones. Um, and season three and two were actually pretty close in numbers. Season two was a little bit higher. And season one had 54%, uh, which was higher than last time. And um, you know, after season three ended, poll number, I'm gonna call them poll number one is on the right and poll number two is on the left, uh, just to make that a little easier. Uh, season three was overwhelmingly and even more than um, this one. So quite interesting to see that, you know, more people thought that season three was better when season three came out than people thought that season four was when season four came out. So I thought that was interesting. Okay, so next we have, do you think there will be a significant time skip in the show? And I, last time I made a few mistakes, I put possibly, which is a terrible thing to do if you're doing a poll. So we can't really like, this doesn't really tell us anything, but we now have new data that says more people think that there will be a time skip than not. So, and I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed almost that there will be, cause there's gonna be some sort of big cutoff at season five. So I'm surprised that actually this number isn't bigger cause it's just over 50%. So it's like, if they said that there's gonna be like, you know, something big happening, after season five, you would think that might be a time skip or something, so I don't know. All right, next we have how long would you air Miraculous for if you could choose? And right now the top is seven seasons, which is very interesting because that was the second highest <laughs> um, two years ago for poll number one. And the highest one was nine plus seasons, so the highest that you could choose here. Whereas the highest 12 was, let's see, uh, I guess the second one. So these two swapped. Um, compared to this one. So I thought that was interesting. And just so you know, we do have seven seasons confirmed. So uh, that's what we are currently set to have. So the majority of people uh, at a 33%, per, uh, percent, almost 34, they are, you know, right on the money with what they want. All right, next is we have, when did you become a fan of Miraculous Ladybug? This is just sort of to gauge like some demographics. Cause I think that's interesting um, to see, you know, how it shifts. So, you know, obviously last time, it went up to 2020 because that was the current year that I made this first poll. But in the second poll, I made it in 2022, which is why you have these two extra years here. And you can see 10% of people that took this second poll are new compared to this first poll. So that's pretty cool, I think. Um, and I just think it's interesting to see how it's relatively evenly spread, except for 2022, because, you know, at the time of making this poll, we were only a few months into 2022. So I think it's quite interesting to see how it's roughly, you know, give or take 5% uh, equal and same thing over here. So I think that's quite interesting. All right, so this next question was also to collect demographics and it was your age range. The first time I did this, I did it, I listed like all the ages, which was not a smart move because then we have this weird graph, um, but, I wanted to see, you know, age brackets now. So I said 13 to 15, which is the largest one in here, which is about 35%, 36%, um, almost. <laughs> so uh, if you look at 13 
through 15. And that's these three right here, which is around the same, I would say. So we can see that that age range is still the most popular as far as, you know, the respondents of this poll say. So uh, it looks like 13 to 15 is the most popular age for Miraculous at this point. All right, the next one is preferred gender. And I think this is interesting because back two years ago, and I think this speaks a lot to my audience. So we'll see once this goes out uh, to like a broader spectrum, if there are more, you know, if this changes at all. But in the previous poll, there was 87.7% .7 that said female compared to male. And now there's a way bigger male population watching, at least watching my videos, because that's probably the primary demographic here. Um, but it could change as this, you know, gets into the algorithm. But I just think that's interesting that there are more male viewers now than there were two years ago. So I don't know. I think that's a cool piece of data. All right, next, more demographical data. What continent do you live in? And overwhelmingly, and again, this speaks more to my demographic, but we'll see if that shifts as more people take the poll. 41% um, said North America, 25% said Europe, and the second, or I guess the third largest is 22% with Asia. So I think that's really cool. I just wanted to gauge like, you know, where in the world people, at least specifically with right now, are watching my channel. So that's really awesome to see. All right, next, which dub of Miraculous Ladybug is your favorite? And overwhelmingly, people said English. But if you compare that to last time, we have more people who like the French dub um, than they did last time, two years ago. So I think that's pretty cool. The English dub lost 6%. Now this next one I thought was really interesting because now we have about a 50-50 split on these. And the question is, would you rather have this be a plot-based show, um, everything like how it is sort of right now, and then a good mix of both? And I think the reason why this is interesting because, you know, previously two years ago after season three, 63% wanted a good mix of both. Whereas now, 51% overwhelmingly want more plot than they do, you know, it resets sort of how the format is right now. Now, I think the reason why this switched is because season four was, you know, sort of a good mix of both. They could have definitely had more plot, but it was definitely more plot based than any other season before it. And I think this shows that once people started seeing, hey, the plot can be good, they decided, hmm, Instead of saying, you know, 33%, we're gonna be, you know, 51% because, hey, the plot's actually pretty cool, so let's get more plot, right? So I think that's why we see that shift, which I think is interesting because it shows after season three, they wanted a good mix, but now they're saying, hmm, let's go more plot. So yeah, I thought that was cool. Now this one is related to the PV, and if you'd rather have it see, be in the style of the PV or change nothing as to how the show is produced, and previously, 77% said they would change nothing about the show uh, as far as the visuals go. And now only 65% say that. So more people would rather be it as like the PV style than previously. So that's also cool. All right, so this next one is how many times have you rewatched Miraculous Ladybug? And I think this one is definitely one that will shift with time. Um, but over like 50% of people who took the poll last time said over six times, and that was, you know, 50%, that's a lot, uh, as only compared to less than 30%. So it's way more even across the board here, which shows that more people who took this poll are relatively newer fans, I would say, um, whereas these people either were really big fans or, you know, have just watched it, you know, a lot over the longer span. So I think that's interesting, but I also think it's something that will shift with time as more people take the polls. We'll just have to see. All right, so we have a few new questions, so it's not gonna sync up with last time. Uh, which season had the best finale? Overwhelmingly, people say season four. And then, you know, season three was the third highest and season two was the second highest. So, and season one didn't have very much support because it didn't really feel like a big finale, but you know, it still is up there a little bit, 1.7%. Um, but yeah, season four and season two, especially being with season four, being the best finale by far, by 80%. This one is asking to what scope the fandom that, you know, at least are take, is taking the poll, um, you know, how much they are delved into the Miraculous fandom. And 65, 66% say that they watch anything and everything related to Miraculous, whereas 25% 0.6% say only the show specials and movies. So the differ, like the thing that would differ between these two would be like the everything related to Miraculous would also include, you know, like the Miraculous Secret episodes or 
um, like the chibi episodes, um, whereas this would obviously only be the show specials and movies. So yeah, I think that's quite interesting. We got a lot of people who just watch anything miraculous. All right, next is your favorite special and 61% say New York special. So, you know, as of this poll, more people like the New York special than the Shanghai special. And we'll have to see, you know, as time goes on, how that will shift once we get more specials. So I'm interested to see that. All right, and the last one in this general section, which are you most looking forward to? And 70% of people are more looking forward to the Awakening movie than the other three specials that we have confirmed over the next few years. So I think that's quite interesting. People are really looking forward for this movie. All right, this next one is the biggest question that everyone wants to know about. And that is, which Love Square ship is your favorite? And I had, you know, something that I did not expect last time. And that was Mari Chat coming on top last time. I did not expect that at all. I thought Adrianette would come out on top. And I think when I recorded the video, it was Adrianette. But after that video and more people started taking the poll, Mari Chat ended up taking the number one spot. So that is what surprised me. I didn't think Mari Chat had as much support as it does. Now, if we look over here to the new one, it has roughly the same amount of support, but the biggest change that we see here is two years ago, people said Adrienette was their favorite ship. Whereas now people are saying Lady Noir after season four. And I think that's significant because I think we're going to be seeing Lady Noir more now in this upcoming season five. And so it's interesting to see how people, uh, and you know, Ladrian stayed about the same. Mari Chat stayed about the same, so it was really only Adrianette shippers who turned into Lady Noir shippers, which is really cool because I also sort of fell into that boat where ultimately I do think that Adrianette is the OTP because that's what makes the most sense, but ultimately I think I'm going to like the Lady Noir dynamic a little bit more now more than Adrianette, which I think is interesting because I am one of those people who switched over. And it just shows you that there are quite a few more people who also switched over like that. So I think that's quite interesting to see. All right, so this next one is asking about Adrianette or like Adrigami and stuff like that. And still overwhelmingly people say Adrianette, but even further margins now. Um, Cause you know, at the end of season three, sort of there was like Lucanet and you know, uh, Adrigami going on, but now they don't got any of that. That was canceled. So uh, it's just, it's full Adrianette for what people think. As far as what they want, still about 12% of people say uh, they want Lucanet but no Adrigami, and essentially the same with Adrigami and Lucanet. So this really hasn't changed a whole lot. Um, just this uh, Adrigami but no Lucanet that changed a little bit. But overall, this like people still want Lucanet and Adrigami to the same degree that they did two years ago. So I think that's quite interesting. When do you think the reveal will happen? Most people say season five, whereas last time, uh, well, no, I guess the colors just changed. I don't know why they changed. The other ones don't do that. Uh, oh yeah, because we removed season four, so it threw off all the numbers. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> uh, about 50% said season five last time, and now 62% say season five this time. So there was an increase in people who thought that it was season five, but that's also to account for season four, which took 17.8% last time so that looks like it translated just into the season five so people who thought it was season four last time essentially were just like and eh, now let's go season five this time and i think that's especially prevalent because we have it confirmed and i shouldn't have put the movie on here well nobody even guessed the movie so i guess it didn't matter but <laughs> so, uh because we know the movie's not canon but i think this is ultra prevalent because we've heard that something's gonna happen with season five so that would mean that the reveal has to be in season five which again, I'm surprised that more people haven't, like either there's gonna be no reveal or it's in season five. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. Who do you ship more, Lila and Felix or Gabriel and Natalie? This is just sort of a random question, but more people now say that they ship Lila and Felix than they do Gabriel and Natalie. So yeah, it's about 75 and 25%, whereas it was uh, 80 and 20% over here. So that's quite interesting. I don't know why that's shifted, but Maybe it was just because we saw how evil Gabriel was this season and they're like, eh, no support for Gabriel, but I don't know. All right, so this next one, which side ship is your favorite? And this one, we actually saw a shift. Oliga Nino was the number one 50% last time, but since then we have had more Rose and Julica support um, and Mark and Nathaniel dropped off a little bit actually. Uh, so that's quite surprising, I guess. Um, but yeah, 
So some of the Nino and Alia supporters went over to Rose and Julica. So yeah, Rose and Julica support there. All right, so this next one's pretty cool. Based on the events of the season four finale, do you think Marinette will start liking Kent Noir more than Adrian? And 75% of people say yes, whereas, you know, 25% say no. So that shows that 75% of the fandom say, yeah, we think that Ladybug's gonna start liking Kent Noir. So can't wait to see that. And uh, that sort of lines up with the um, this one too, where more people are sort of jumping onto the Lady Noir boat. So that sort of all lines up. All right, this next one's quite interesting because it's like, who do we hate the most kind of, right? Last time the person we hated the most with 73% was Lila, but Lila's number actually dropped to 54% and more people hate Gabriel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because uh, we sort of all saw what happened. But I also find it interesting that Chloe, as far as the hateness level, went up. So she actually lost support. So, yeah, and Felix, actually gained support people don't like or people like felix more than they disliked him so that's that's interesting too so uh yeah gabriel is now way more hated but lila still with over 50 percent people just don't like her all right next up we got who is your favorite main character and last time it was marinette with uh you know 43 percent almost 34 or 44 and now that actually switched, uh, Adrian and Marinette switched. So I think that's quite interesting. I don't know exactly why that is, but you know, <laughs> everything else stayed the same except for Kagami. Kagami uh, gained a little bit more support actually. Although I, know, I, don't, I wouldn't call her a main character anymore, but I just kept the question the same. So I guess Kagami is liked more. Luca is liked a little bit more. Nino lost a little bit of support uh, of 0.5%. Uh, and then Alia stayed roughly the same, but Adrian is the main one. There were a lot of people who said Marinette who switched over to Adrian. So yeah, that's interesting. All right, next up we got, who's your favorite side character? And now Alex, about the same, Alex, both, you know, roughly around the same. This didn't change a whole lot. Uh, Chloe lost support, um, but yeah, Alex stayed about the same, actually gained 2%. So. This one didn't really change a whole lot. All right, who's your favorite Miraculous holder? This one actually was um, in two parts last time and I just combined it into one. Um, and especially because last time we didn't have all the same ones as we do now. But um, Kent Noir, or Adrian I suppose, um, is still overwhelmingly 41% out of all of the heroes. This is, or not even just all the heroes. There's also like, you know, Master Fu, Natalie, um, Felix on here. So yeah. Adrian is by far the favorite Miraculous holder, and then Marinette coming in at, in second place, and then Luca in third. So, yeah, you can sort of compare that here, but it's a little bit difficult because I changed up the format of the question. But yeah, Adrian is by far the favorite. Okay, so this next one is who do you think will be the next Hawk Moth? And before, 66.8% said Lila will be, but she actually dropped about seven points. Um, and now Felix is more popular, or well, more popular than he was. Still, people still think Lila will be, but Felix is also moving up in the ranks a little bit, which I guess makes sense based on the events of season four. All right, next we have some Chloe uh, like polls because she's been sort of a topic of discussion a lot in this season. So we have who is better, Chloe or Zoe? And Zoe is actually more popular with 59%. Uh, as compared to Chloe's 41%. So Chloe still does have quite a massive supporting, but not as much as Zoe. Do we think Chloe will have another redemption arc? And you'll notice these two look very similar. Uh, not a whole lot of difference between these um, two. Um, so people say no, and then yes, about the same percentage. A little bit more say yes, um, even though those people like Zoe a little bit more. And then we have, do you think uh, Queen B will return in season five? More people think that she will return, even though um, these, still, these two are still pretty close, but a little bit more. Each time the percentage goes up by about three points. Um, but yeah, these, these graphs look very similar. So yeah, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Next we got, when do you think Alex will get the bunny miraculous? This one was also not on the last poll. Um, so people think she will get it in season five, but also a close second, sort of close, I guess, by half. Uh, so I guess not really a whole lot close, but you know, <laughs> the second one is season six. So either season five or six, and then season seven and other are also here, but yeah. 
looks like people are expecting it to be in season five. Who do you think is the smartest character in the show? Felix by far, and then not even at a close second, 10% with Marinette. <laughs> Felix overwhelmingly 75% approval on this one. Yeah. And I mean, that's sort of understandable because that's, that's what's true. So, you know, he is definitely the smartest guy. Do you think Hawkmoth will go back in time with the Bunny Miraculous? Surprisingly, only about 53% of people said yes. I thought this would have been higher, um, but who knows? I guess maybe the reason why it says no for about less than 50%, but almost 50%, um, I think the reason why people said no is because how, how would, you know, Ladybug lose, right? Like, because Hawkmoth could, could, could just go back in time and sort of see the past, right? So we'll just have to see how that all turns out, but it's roughly a 50-50 split. So, and this will probably actually even out once more people uh, take the poll, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so this next one's quite interesting because at the end of season three, nobody had figured out Ladybug's identity. So it was, who do you think will be the first person to figure out their identity? But obviously since two people have figured out Ladybug's identity, um, now we have sort of had to change the graphs here. Now, last time, the number one was Adrian, second was Alia, and then the third was Luca with 10%, and then a close with like a grand reveal. But now, since we obviously know that Alia, which this, you know, 26.5% who said, Alia, you guys were right. Um, <laughs> so, um, but next people say Alex will be the next person, whereas Adrian will be, I guess, you know, second, well, I guess second place in this poll was Adrian, so. And then Marinette's family actually gained some support here. Was I didn't, Did I put Marinette's family? I didn't. So Marinette's family is a new addition to, oh wait, no, I just changed uh, the name. But yeah, 22%, whereas more people will say 12%. So people think in the next season, or just in general, the next people will be Marinette's family. So that's interesting. But most people think that Alex will be the next person to figure out Ladybug's identity. So I think that's quite interesting. You know, who knows? Maybe the second place, because last time second place was Alia and she was it. Maybe it'll be Adrian next, who knows. All right, so the next one is the same thing, but for Cat Noir. And obviously Luca was number one, which was not even on here, um, really. Let's see. <laughs> this 2.2% of last time's um, polling, you guys were correct. Luca was the first one. But um, yeah, next we have Nino as number one, which was uh, not, Nino was second last time. Um, Marinette was first, uh, but now Marinette's second and then Alex is also up there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So this next question was changed a little bit as we got more information. Um, it was, do you think Emily will come out of her coma? Whereas last time I said, come back to life. Cause for, as far as we knew she was dead, but actually she's in a coma. So, uh, yeah. So that, that question was changed a little bit, but it was essentially the same question. So we have yes, yes, but only temporarily and no. And 66% say yes, but only temporary, temporarily. Um, and I had this maybe on here, which sort of throws off this data, but uh, yeah, let's just go with this one. 66% say yes, but only temporary. So that's a third of people. This next one is so funny. Okay, so it's, do you think Felix will come into play again later on in the show? And only 50% said yes, <laughs> but uh, that was last time after season three. But now after season four, that's 90% of people who are like, Felix is definitely coming back. And then about 10% now say not really only once or twice more. Whereas 31, 32% said, yeah, he'll come back, but not very much. There was a big shift there. Uh, so that's quite interesting. And 19 people who took the poll, 0.3% said no. So <laughs> good good for you, you 19 people. Felix just took the miraculous and left, never coming back, never mentioning him again. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> that was a big shift. All right, next we have some Senti Monster questions because this was also a very big topic uh, for this season. Do you think Felix is evil or just wanted to be free? And 70% of people said he just wanted to be free. And the other 30% said he's evil. So yeah, some people just say Felix is evil. Next we have, who do you think is a senti monster? And 53% say both Adrian and Felix are senti monsters. And then 61% only say Adrian. And surprisingly more people, 14.5% say only Felix, which I think is weird. Um, Cause typically it's Adrian. But okay, uh, and then, you know, my anti-senti monster buddies over here 
with uh, 26%. So the majority of people say that Adrian and Felix, but if you're looking at it um, just for like the Senti Monster Theory in general, that looks like about 70, over 75% of people say that there are like Adrian or Felix are Senti Monsters. Uh, but you know, we got this 26% standing strong. I support you. Even though I, I do believe that the Senti Monster Theory is, you know, probably going to be a thing, I still don't like it. Which is answered in this next question, do you want Adrian to be a Senti Monster? And most people say no. So even though, you know, 75%, um, I guess 74% actually, um, say, yes, we think that they are, one of them is a Senti Monster. 78% so more people say no we don't really want him to be though we think he is but we don't want him to be so yeah that's pretty cool next do you think Adrian will find out Gabriel is Hawk Moth in season 5 67% say yes so they are I guess implying that either Adrian joins the dark side joins Hawk Moth or he's thrown in jail because now Adrian knows I guess um which sort of makes sense because in season 5 supposedly something big goes down where they change up the whole thing so uh yes that would make sense all right, next one, do you think Marinette will become akumatized? Again, this one was sort of messed up because I had this maybe in here. Um, but 62.9% say yes. So, yeah, that's more than previously. But that's because I had this maybe in here, so that sort of throws it off. And now, what do you think Hawk Moth will do with all of the miraculous? And 63% say akumatize people and give them a miraculous, which I also think is probably what's going to happen. And then another 28.2% uh, say he's just going to keep and use them himself, which I think personally is less likely. And then these other two are sort of insignificant. Um, but yeah, we got a majority of people saying he's going to uh, continue to akumatize people like normal. And then also, in addition, give them a miraculous. So yeah, that should be quite interesting to see if these people are right. All right, next we have which Kwame is your favorite? 30% last time said Tiki. But now, only 13% say Tiki. So there was a bigger jump in support, um, people who jumped from Tiki to Plague. And these two are roughly the same, I think. There's a little bit more support for uh, the other Miraculous, but, you know, there was a big jump from people who said Tiki to Plague. Or Tiki to the other ones, too. Uh, so I thought that was quite interesting. Plague is gaining support. This one is also really funny, um, because we didn't really have... Well, actually, we did. We did. But this one didn't even land. The rooster one didn't even land on the previous one, whereas now the rooster takes up 13.4% because the rooster miraculous can essentially just create any power they want, um, as far as we understand right now. So they jumped up in percentage a lot compared to like zero over here. Uh, so Fluff gained more support actually, now at 25%, whereas before Fluff was only at 83, or sorry, 8.3. And Tiki and Plague took a hit. They used to be way more, like, people used to think that they had much more power, but now they don't think so anymore. Um, so Tiki only has about 25.8%, which is just 0.1% higher than Fluff. And Plague only has 20%, which was quite a decline. Plague had almost 40%. Dropped down 16 points. That's quite crazy. Which Kwame do you think will be rescued first since Hawk Moth stole all of the Miraculous? 50% of people just say uh, Fluff right out the bat. I would probably agree. Um, and I think we also got the the titles, so that sort of already confirmed it, but you know, <laughs> still good to ask, I guess. And then some people said Trix the Fox. Um, so yeah, and then Molo was up here, surprisingly too. But yeah, I think Fluff, probably the likely answer because you don't want Hawkmoth to have that one for too long, because then he could just go back in time and see who Ladybug is. So don't want that. All right, so this next one, who makes a better superhero, also had quite this shift, and that one was Ladybug. Ladybug had 78%, but now she dropped to only 57%, so Cat Noir is gaining support. So, yeah, which I think is natural, because people are like, Cat Noir deserves better. So I think that's why he gained in support over Season 4. All right, so next we had some open-ended questions, and I think this is interesting, because um, if you look through, you'll see a lot of, well, this one doesn't show a lot, but essentially favorite akumatized person, Capalong was pretty popular on here. I went ahead and looked through a lot. And also, as you can see here, Capalong was also quite popular. So Capalong is still a favorite among the community. Favorite episode on the Miraculous of Miraculous Ladybug, Capalong, again, 
um, still a favorite, um, so that didn't really change. Um, least favorite episode, Simple Man actually is sort of up here now, whereas last time it looks like Stormy Weather 2. Well, this one's sort of a mix of things. Um, so you see a lot more Simple Man on here than the others, but there's still a pretty good mix of things. Um, worst part about Miraculous, I don't know if I had that one on here, but um, yeah, a lot of it was like just miscellaneous stuff. So quality control, animation, uh, she's just a friend, filler episodes. So yeah, there's just various things about that one. Uh, which episode have you watched the, the most? Capalonk by far again, and Ephemeral's up here too a little bit, but, uh, and Strike Back. There's a few Strike Backs on here too, but Capalonk, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, biggest thing that happened, finale in season four. Definitely the finale, everyone said that. Uh, Felix wanted to be free, that's basically, because he's a sending monster, he wanted to be free. Just sort of same stuff there. Uh, how do you think the series will end? This one was just a big mess of things. <laughs> People didn't really know what was going on with that one. Uh, and then that was it. So, yeah, that was the poll for this new season. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. Definitely go take the poll if you haven't already. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.